What's going on, good people? It's your boy Top Cat the Gamer. We are back with more Trail of the Cold Steel 3. Alright, so the last time we were here, uh, we were in, um, what is this place? The Eastima, Eastima okay. Great Forest. Is, I, I forget how to, it's, it's Eastima, Isma, whatever. Uh, matter of fact, yeah. So it's Isthma, it's, it's Mia. Okay, it's Mia Great Forest. I'm butchering the shit out that name. All right, so this uh, place is it's it's pretty big, not like super big, but it's it's right over there. You got a, your fishing spot and everything like that. Um, there is a place right there where you got to take the photo for uh, Vivi, and there are only like three or four treasure chests here that I, I remember, but uh. Let's go ahead and get started. Sit, sit. Huh, sit. Um, I would say fight those things right there. They're pretty uh they give pretty good XP on this part. Huh. There's one treasure chest right there. I think that has the seeds in it that Sandy wants. Looks like a real tough there. one. Watch out! This is a tough one! I remember uh playing against these things and uh I mean uh Get back I fought plenty of them here. Let's go. Yeah There And it was giving me really it's good mine. XP. It's probably gonna give me good XP now, but here I go. Yeah I thought that was everybody. Nice! We did it But it's a very it's a decent place to level up, I will say that. Yeah, the herb seeds are right there. And right up in here, there it is. Take the picture. Wow, this place is dr so dreamlike. It's unexpectedly soothing. However, the monsters are a big threat. Yeah, that's true enough. This spot has the perfect lighting. Maybe I'll take a landscape photo here for Vivi. All right, looks good. I'll send it to her later. You don't have to wait till later. I think you can just send it to her right now. So green. Hey, VV, just wanted to give you a heads up and send you a photo. Now, let's see. Oh, wow, nice. I'll send you your reward. All right. I'm trying to think, um... What exactly does she give you? I don't remember. <laughs> I've been waiting, Reen. Give me the dirt. Oh, that dude's voice, man. I forgot to tell him about the story that could be used for the radio. Make sure you <laughs> do that, stuff. too. I'll send you your prize. Yeah, they didn't give me anything, so I'm not going to do those anymore. <laughs> I'll let you know where they are, but I'm not doing them anymore, because... We'll I don't remember what they gave, but I know it was yeah. like items or, or something up. like fortitude potions or something like that it, they give you some stuff all right it's pretty yeah. decent item stuff <laughs> well look yeah but if i'm not getting anything there's no point in me wasting my time doing it all right get through this damn place uh what is this over here i think there's some items yeah celestial bomb We'll take some of those. Mostly everything here is scared of us, so no big deal. Now these things right here, uh, they do in a they do like this pound attack, and it can cause faint. Hey, Kurt, you wouldn't happen to remember which way we came from, would you? Hmm. I don't actually. I kept the digital log on our map. We can refer to it at any time. Oh, gee, thanks, Altina. Yeah, yeah but those uh, those panda-looking uh, things, they do like that big thing they have in their hand. They hit you with it, and it can cause faint. So be yeah. careful with that, because they can kill you if you are not careful. That enemy, there. a powerful enemy. Exercise caution. Yeah, uh, trying to kill everybody. Now, you see that thing on the back row? 
I don't it's know if it's still back there. This right here. Be careful with those. Uh, they can they can cause like sleep. I think as sleep is one of the things they can do. Um, but uh, also, if you want to, I would kill you know quite a few of them if I can. They do give breath as a quartz. You know, I, but I think this spot and one other spot are like the only two spots they spawn in. So you have to end up kind of leaving, coming back in, that type of thing. And I know you people probably see. don't want to do that. Fire! Very well. Now. Really? Yeah. Target's eliminated. Move out. Now this is a gladiator headband right here. Treasure. Yeah, you don't know what those do. They are pretty good to put on your fighter characters. They get CP back when they get attacked. Thirty percent plus. So, and that's it. It's a fairly simple like uh, area. Uh, in, uh, but not like the monsters like at the, and you when you first come here you uh definitely this the monsters in this area are very uh they're strong in this area stronger probably than uh, any area you've been in uh up to that point so you can't get bodied in this forest your first time around we just high level that's all This force comes into play in part four as well. Oh, hey, is that it? Bluish violet petals is certainly a variety of lavender. It appears to be one of the Aaron flowers we came here to collect. And that name is foreshadowing, just so you know. Ah, it smells so nice. I can tell it's a type of lavender by the smell. Yeah, it, it is rather. A rather relaxing aroma. This scent, I smelled it before. Instructor? Oh, it's nothing. We've located the target. All we need to do is collect some and. No, not yet. Alright. Surrounded. <laughs> A group of spiders. We're surrounded. Instructor, your orders? We'll simply fight our way through. Everyone be aware of who or what is behind you as you fight. Understood. Now, now see, I don't know why he said that. Because if you look at the way their formation is, they are all, with their backs turned towards each other, they can see their targets. Like, so, there shouldn't be nothing behind them. They're back to back to each other. Beginning interception. This one's strong. That's be just careful. me and picking. <laughs> now this can be a tough fight, uh, uh, especially on your first playthrough. I would actually start off uh, just going this, doing this CP. I mean, uh, not CP, <laughs> doing the S break uh, and just clearing them out. Um, but I mean, we don't we don't have to do that. But if you got rings on C uh, S break right here, just go ahead and do it. My mind is clear. My blade. And deep. it's gonna. I feel now. like it's gonna kill at least two of them. It could end up killing all of them. But like a surrounded situation like that, and it, uh, those monsters ah. are pretty strong in this part. Seven flash. Yeah, you want to just get them out the way. All right. Nice work. Just a little tactic, guy. Huh? Keep in mind there. Battle complete. No further hostiles detected. All right, good job, everyone. Phew, that was a real shocker. There were so many of them. Ferocious monsters. It seems the rumors about this place were true. Are they the cause of the higher elements here? No, as far as I can tell, this place has had strong spiritual energy since a long time ago. I'm not sure what the cause is though. Anyway, let's finish this request. Yeah, let's get us some errand flowers. Everyone split up and collect them. Understood. Sit. 
don't know why I did it. Why is it like I'm collecting all of them? We're supposed to be doing this together. Appears we've collected the required amount. Good work, everyone. You better not keep the client waiting, so let's head back to St. Art. Yeah, I agree. It's really pretty here and it smells nice, but we should probably get out of here ASAP. Agreed. It's hard to say what else might show up. I do not sense any nearby hostiles, but I believe there is no point in staying longer. Alright then. Build it. Huh? Instructor. I'll be all right. I. Yeah. This is. Huh? It would appear you have run afoul of the barrier. So this person here... Who... <laughs> it is just as I was told. However, there is a proper order to all things. Your fate appears to have renewed its course at long last. Ah, uh, something's falling into me. <laughs> Worry not. This is simply a small boon. You are not yet ready to glimpse more than this. Yet you shall see the truth before long, Ashen Awakener. Yeah, pretty weird encounter there. I don't want to say who she is. Uh, you find out mostly in part four who she is. Um, but I don't want to spoil it. Hey, Instructor Ring. Are you alright? Yeah, I... Sorry, I just lost my footing. But more importantly, did you guys see someone standing there just now? Huh? What do you mean? There's no one here besides the four of us. Yeah, guess you're right. Anyway, let's hurry back to St. Art. Who knows what might show up in this deep darkness. I said not to say stuff like that. <laughs> in any event, let's be off. Are you sure you're okay? It's something like last year happens again. No, really, I'm fine. Sorry for worrying you. Let's just focus on our mission there right now. Okay. So, apparently, something happened. <laughs> Whether it was a person or some sort of demon, there was definitely something there. I can't remember what just happened, but I don't feel alarmed by it or anything, and I don't sense any hostility. I guess all I can do is, is keep it in the back of my mind for now. And that's the developers telling you to keep what just happened right there in the back of your mind. That aside, it's happening more frequently. And I think when he said that it's happening more frequently, he means that his, uh, his chest is hurting. So a kiss from a mysterious girl has granted Ring a new order to find song. So this person helped us. And you guys, gee, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder how, why, I wonder why. Um, yeah, we are going to get out of here and head. 
Wait a minute, where was it? Crap. Maybe it was in the cathedral. <laughs> it's got the red uh, exclamation point up there. Alright, so when you go back here, you can uh, fast travel back there. Now, if you hear that, you hear violin playing. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, we're going to head towards what the. What a uh, pretty melody. <sighs> I wonder who's performing. I might know who. Mm hmm. And we know who that is. All right, let's head on in. And who is it, huh? Oh, wow. It is our good friend, Elliot. Isn't that... I knew it. Huh? Elliot's grown up. And he has become a full-time musician now. Actually, he's become a little famous. So... He went with his dream. Like, dude, don't don't wink at the dude, man. No, I'm just playing. Wait, he's... I've heard stories about a talented young musician who debuted in Heimdall recently. I take it he's an acquaintance of yours, instructor? That's right. Elliot Craig. He's part of the old Class 7, so he's kind of like you guys' predecessor. It's not kind of, he is. <laughs> Elliot Craig. It's nice to meet you, Yuna. Kurt. I'm Elliot Craig. I was part of the old Class 7 with Reen. He was one of the first people I met at Thor's, in fact. I've heard your music before, but I wasn't aware you knew Instructor Reen. It's nice to meet you. That performance was beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Reen was gushing all about you just last week. I guess... Um... Is Altina okay? Black Rabbit? You look so different, I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> well, we were enemies last time we met. Also, I was wearing a highly advanced stealth suit created specifically for Black Ops missions. Oh, God. That's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what is with you? I didn't expect to run into you here, Elliot. Are you on tour right now? She don't know anything about, uh... Confidential, her or a million? Yeah. I actually just arrived not too long ago. I plan on using the cathedral as my main base and playing concerts in the surrounding area. It's pretty lucky that it happened to overlap with your field exercises, huh? <laughs> sure is. In fact, it almost seems a little too lucky. Right. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Anyway, we've kind of got our hands full at the moment. But do you think we could meet up later? I'll give you a call when I'm free. Oh, fine by me. It'll probably have to be sometime in the evening, though. You see, I'm actually about to... Excuse me, Mr. Craig. The children will be here shortly. Oh, sure thing. I'm ready to start any time. I'll be teaching the kids here a little about how to play music. Ooh, you're gonna teach a music class? Oh, I see. I'm sure the children are looking forward to it. Wouldn't think that that was something that Yuna would find so interesting. <laughs> You've got a special mission to do on top of your field exercises, don't you? Make sure you don't overdo it on your first day, okay? It was interesting. 
And she's like, ooh, you gotta teach the kids. And I'm just like, she just really didn't seem like, like, she don't seem like the type of person is just like, oh my God, music, you're playing the violin. I gotta, like, oh my God, you know? He's quite the star. He just debuted and he's already gotten as popular. I hear his records are selling well too. I don't know how the music scene works here with the with them so like i i don't know i mean he said it's uh <laughs> you mean his debut album like like what is, where where's the album you know i'm surprised you two know each other it looks like you were able to c collect all the herbs we needed you'll find the archbishop waiting in his office thank you again for getting those no problem let's go make our delivery I mean, I, I don't know, but he, I mean, he's, yeah, apparently he's famous now, so. Ah, that fragrance. It seems you're able to find them after all. Yep, here are the Aaron flowers you asked for. Thanks for waiting. I hope this is enough. <laughs> all right, well, well, these are in excellent condition. This many will keep us supplied for a good long while. You've been a great help to us. You have my most uh, my heart most heartfelt thanks, I'm sorry. Uh it was our pleasure. We were just fulfilling our mission as part of our field exercises. Damn, can you, <laughs> does she have to specify that? I'm glad we could help out. It warms my heart to see such promising young people. It's clear you guided them well. Look how she look at the side eye. <laughs> Actually, I'm just here supervising them. They did all the work. For this request themselves. They did not. Huh? Instructor Reen. I see. I heard you've just uh, begun your field exercises this morning. I pray you safely finish all your tasks. Thank you. Please excuse us. Alright, you got a heal quartz. That's the type of guy Reen is. And it's like they they're just learning, like, oh, so this dude is actually pretty you know, pretty, uh, I wonder if you can go in. Hey, you can't go in. Okay. He's teaching a couple kids the violin. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. All right, uh, sounds like they're having fun in there. I have a hard time picturing such a kind looking guy being a member of class 7 just like us. I remember seeing him back during the Civil War, but even then he didn't look like a student at a military academy. Elliot never has. Elliot's stronger than he looks though. He's a close friend of mine. We went through a lot together back in the day, but he's never stopped believing in the power of music. A close friend. Wow, for real? Ah, I finally connected the dots. That orange hair and last name Craig. Just like a certain commander in the 4th Armored Division. Sheesh, you're pretty sharp. Well, I guess it's not that surprising you'd know, given who your brother is. Indeed. Anyway, what should we do next? We have finished searching the northeastern streets. The required request in St. Arthur is now complete. I believe we can head to Parm now. It would take some time to walk there. Perhaps we could take the train. Perhaps we do have some requests remaining. We still got some time left. I'll leave the decision to you three. Whatever you decide, make sure you don't have any regrets. Mm, okay. Then we'll head to the station as soon as you're ready. If any of you still have things you need to do, we better finish them now. Understood. All right, so right here, um, I'm trying to think, where is, let me go back to the residential district, and it may be in a noble district, mm -hmm. I don't know, no, that's the other quest. So head to the residential district, and I thought it will pop up here. Oh, okay. 
guess it's not going to show up on a lady. So you come right into the Luna Crest Apartments. <clears throat> and there's a lady up here, I think. In, no, not here. No, nope, not there either. Where is she at? No, that's not it. Huh. I damn sure thought she was going to be in here. Maybe it's because I got it before. Well, there's usually a maid in here. And she has the second chapter of the book. This Heartless Egger. Right here. So, come here. I Maybe maybe she, she's not here because I don't... Um, I already got the book the first time around. So, yeah, that's all I can really think of. Uh, so we're going to head back out. Why is it still got a, um... Oh, yeah, my bad, sorry. So to move the story along, you got to come here, and then you got to go to um, the station over here. Sorry about that. Hmm, people are gathered in front of the station. Did something happen? Let's go see. We apologize for the inconvenience. We are currently investigating the situation. Please wait just a little bit longer. Hmm, I smell quite the fishy scoop. <coughs> Phoebe? Oh, it's raining in his little pals. Did you finish your investigation thing? Yeah, <laughs> St. Art anyway. More importantly, what happened here? Well, seems like there was a derailing accident in the direction of Parm. A derailing accident. Is everything alright? I don't know. I just got here myself. So I don't have much more for you than that. They said until the issue is fixed, all trains are bound, bound from a cancel. I see. Well, gotta go. Need to dig up some info somehow. See you later. Alright. So basically, you got to go to Parma on foot. That's basically what this is. A derailing accident. I hope no one was hurt. That's kind of worrying. Indeed. What should we do, Instructor? Seems like we've got no choice. It'll take us a while, but I guess we're walking. We need to see this request from, from Parma, after all. It's extremely inefficient, but I see no altern alternative options. Well, hello there, class members of Class 7. You seem to be in a bit of a predicament. It's you, from the mansion. Celestine, what are you doing here? I have come here at the Marquis' behest. Once your business in the city here is concluded, please meet me at the southern gate. Arrangements have been made. It's amazing how he was just on top of it, right? Arrangements? What is he talking about? I'm not sure, but it seems like Mar Mar ah, Marquis High Arms has something set up for us. We should finish everything we need to and head to the south, southern gate. All right. And that's what we're going to do. And I already know what he's going to do for us. And he's giving us horses. What beauties. Indeed, they're lovely horses. Of course, his lordship keeps horses from north. And he's offered them to you after considering the incident from earlier. That's very kind of him. Thank you, Celestine. I've never seen a horse so up close. They're so majestic. Are they okay with strangers riding them, though? They look well trained, enough that I doubt it'll be a problem. Yeah, they're both excellent horses. I'll take this one. So are you comfortable taking a taking lead with the other one, Kurt? That's fine. Oh, come on. I want to do it. I'm sure you do, but that's a lot to ask for a beginner. So sit behind me, and I'll show you what to do. Ooh, behind you. There goes the, there's the blushing. Um, I don't know if I'm cool with that. Well, it doesn't matter to me. It, it should matter to you. You'll just be riding with the instructor instead of me. 
Never mind, I'll ride with you. <laughs> she was like, no, I ain't riding with Reen. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Go. <laughs> He's like, uh-huh. All right, no time like the present. Bro, she was like, hell no, I ain't riding with Reen. Oh, there we go. These are fine horses indeed. Ooh, you can get a nice view on one of these, these guys. Interesting. So this is how you sit on one. We should be able to reach Parm by noon. True. But we're better off heading to the field exercise camp first. We need to report our current status with our special ops missions, among other things. Understood. We'll make great time too. So we can head back to the city if there is anything more that we need to do. Well, until your next return, take care. And do let us know if there's anything more that we can provide. Thank you. Alright. Alright. You know about riding horses. First of all, I want to dash. It ain't no different from walking. It's better to travel to the camp on horseback at the moment. Um, I will not. I uh, don't too much care about that. What is ZV doing? Hey there. Are you guys headed over to the place uh to the place of the accident happened i think you got a little room well uh, got room for a little on me uh whoa there miss i mean i don't know if it's okay i don't really think they want reporters there so trying to hitch a ride with some mechanics huh uh vv is so tenacious <laughs> she's definitely tenacious she does not give up it will be troublesome if she drags us in too let's go instructor no doubt all right, so the thing about riding on horsebacks and uh, stuff, and it's they it they kind of kept the mechanic in, but when you have a turbo mode, this high speed mode, and you can move like this, there's really no point. If you're done with the area, like if you scoured this whole area and there's nothing else to get, unless you want to fight some monsters and stuff like that, like I know there's one more treasure chest around here, but that's from the old games i feel like they to help with the speed of everything because you know they did move slow in the old, older games but when you have a high speed mode like this now if you stop at the camp i i would go ahead and stop at the camp matter of fact it's like it's making us go there it's for a story event so we'll have to go um oh we do okay so it's gonna make us stop there anyways before we even move on all right but it kind of makes the horses moot to me, unless you just really want to ride a horse. You also get like a vehicle, uh, motor like a motorcycle later on, and it's kind of like it just defeats the purpose of riding it when you're uh, you can move at that type of speed with the high speed mode, and at the same time you uh, you walking around, you want to fight enemies as well, so to get stronger. So it, it's just it's if you want to. Uh, so they reported on the archaisms. I don't remember them making you come back here, but I guess. Whoa. Is she checking up on what Freddy cooking? Look at the <laughs> Tina's face like, bro, what? What are you cooking? <laughs> Didn't think there'd be archaisms walking around here. And that old guy is definitely not just some random dude. Yeah, he seemed easy going, but that just made him even more unpredictable. But since he destroyed those archaisms, I don't think he's from the society. I see. There's a chance those archaisms were set loose back in during the Civil War, yeah? Yes, there are a few reports here and there about ro rogue archaisms. Because of that, it's still too early to determine that the society is involved here. We have two more reports in the Palm area too. We should be on high alert. Yeah. By the way, where's Instructor Michael? Oh yeah, he's usually lecturing us right about now. 
Is he dealing with a derailing incident, perhaps? Yeah, actually, he said he was going to check the scene. It seems to have been caused by a falling rock. Fortunately, there weren't many injuries. I see, that's a relief. A derailing incident, huh? That happened in Crossville before, too. Yeah, a lot of people got hurt pretty bad. Anyway, seems like Class 7's working hard. It certainly does. I'm glad to see you're all doing so well without having to rely on your instructor. You really think so? I suppose. Well, we still got plenty of work ahead of us. If you compliment them too much, they'll get reckless. So try to keep it in moderation, okay? <laughs> hey, don't treat us like we're a bunch of little kids. Well, got it. All right. Your comment is unnecessary. We will not lower our guards for any reason. Instructor Reen's comment aside. I feel like I'm beginning to see just how and for what purpose Class 7 was created. What? Oh yeah? We're tasked with scouting the area around camp and responding to requests from civilians. Though scouting for enemies and improving local opinion were given as the reasons, the true purpose is to have us perform tasks the Bracer Guild will otherwise perform. I mean, will otherwise do, correct? It's a bit on the nose, yeah. Well, I mean, to me, if I was them, I would have been picked up on that. Like, that's, this is exactly the stuff that Bracer Guild did from the very beginning, so... Yeah. Whoa, now that you mention it. Bracer Guild. An organization devoted to maintaining peace and or order for civilians across the continent. Like, literally from the very beginning of uh, the very first game, you, this, this is what you've been doing. Basically, Bracer Task. Like, from the very beginning. Though branches exist in the Empire, their operation ability is currently heavily limited. So, they've like really almost kind of kind of phased out bracers especially in Erebonia they've kind of like put got them on shutdown even though most of them are still kind of operating and doing their own thing and kind of helping where they can they're just not as many as there used to be they've either moved on or, or gave up or uh, a lot of them moved like to Calvert and things like that but uh that's kind of like what Thor's, the, the Thor's campus and stuff is now, like, they take on those tasks that the Bracer Guild would otherwise do. You're pretty sharp, Kurt. Hmm, well, hearing all that sure does give me a bit of deja vu. Yeah, back when I was in school, they had us do the same thing and called it field studies. I made the same connection you did, but I'm impressed you were able to do it right out the gate like that. It's nothing special. I simply happened to notice. I can only assume the one who put together Class 7 was none other than Prince Oliver, the eldest prince in the Imperial family, one who has given up all claim to the throne. And see, so Oliver did it because Oliver, he, he respects the, the, the Bracer Guild a lot. Like if you play the, the Trails in the Sky games, he actually works with the Bracer Guild a lot, helping them. And when he saw, you know, the numbers kind of declining, I feel like he kind of got them with these field studies to help out in that area wow you got that too well it makes sense the fans were responsible for guarding the prince yeah ah so you knew about that instructor randolph it was my older brother Mueller to be specific i've heard that his highness has connections with some members of the bracer guild so when thor's main campus was remade last this year his highness created the branch campus and the new class seven as his final act before resigning. Am I wrong? No, that's right. Though I wasn't told those exact things, I can't Im uh, imagine any of them off too far off the mark. I see, so that's what happened. Prince Oliver, I didn't know there was a person like that so high up in the empire. Yes, he's a very honorable person. Though I suspect this may have been more of a of a self-satisfaction on his part. Uh, an act of self-satisfaction. I wouldn't say that necessarily. Um, wait. But we're supposed to be learning for what bracers do here, right? I don't know how things are in the Empire, but bracers are heroes. I know that, of course. 
perhaps as well as you. But reality is another matter. Currently, most of the guild branches in the Empire have been closed down. As for those who supported the guild, such as Oliver and the Radiant Blade Master, they and everyone else who share the guild's ideals are powerless in Erebonia right now. So if Class 7 is a part of this powerless group of supporters, wouldn't you agree our being here is nothing more than a result of the Prince's self-satisfaction? Not necessarily. You ever think about the fact that he just probably wants to put somebody out there that's helping his, the people? Kurt? Hmm. I see. It seems like you had your mind, had a lot on your mind since even before you arrived at the academy. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You're certainly sharp, but isn't there one thing you're forgetting? Hmm? What would that be? Regardless of his highness intent, Class Seven's special ops, uh, ops missions are acknowledged from every side as a, as a formal curriculum of the branch campus. The principal, Professor Smith, and even the Imperial government were all involved in establishing a new Class 7. It's possible each of them only thinks of us as pawns, so it's possible the Prince's self-satisfacting act was nothing more than a trigger for our being. Mm-hmm, that's... Are you telling me it's even worse than I thought? I'm telling you not to make assumptions. There are always two sides to everything. You're smart, but you tend to overthink things. Think about everything you've done today. Why are you trying to cast such a negative light over your accomplishments? Correct? Um, I agree with Instructor Ring, actually. Everything we did was worthwhile, and we were able to get some valuable information, so I don't think it was a waste. Perhaps it's still too early to come to a conclusion. He is so mad about that. Let it go, bro. I remain inc unconvinced. But I'll stop my complaints for now. Either way, if it's my duty as a student of the branch campus and as a vendor, I should give it my all. That should be fine for now. You probably don't want to be told this by me, but you need to find what lies beyond uh, that of your own. On your own, I mean. Understood. I'm still a little worried about Uni joining class seven, but it seems pretty interesting, instructor included. Got that right. Yeah, he just overthinks things a little too much. But he's he's a very smart guy. But as I told you, he has a lot of insecurity issues, and that comes up in even when he's doing stuff like that. Like he immediately took everything he just accomplished and kind of downplayed it. Like. Oh, uh, well, you know, we did this, but it's this, this, this. Like, dude, like, you did something good. Shut up. <laughs> now that we reported everything, let's get back to our special ops mission. Everyone ready? Ready. No need to ask us. Let's head to our second destination, Pawn. That said, I still have much to learn. I'm not even halfway to being skilled enough. From now on, I mustn't hold back at all. I must reset my way of thinking. All right, so that's when you get his S craft, but we already had it. So, and this is a great time for you to kind of restock. Um, and what is she at? Where the hell is she at? Try to see what Sandy is. Um. What is this jackass doing? Hmm, class seven. Having fun running around on your little adventures all morning. Hey, we're not just doing this for fun. That's right. Going around on foot and seeing all these places is, is an important part of our special hospital. That's so. Uh, sounds fun to me. Hmm? Are you interested in our missions? Well, you guys get to go wherever you want. Anyone stuck here at camp would be interested. You make it sound as though we're on vacation. I don't think he's going to listen to anything we have to say at this point. All right, oh yeah, the shower up. Get our CP the back up. Removed. As Altina said, get our fatigue removed. 
I am trying to find... There she is. Peter, you need to go eat lunch. Eat your lunch now. Oh, oops, sorry about that. I lose track of time when I get absorbed in a project. That's fine. Just don't forget that having a break and eating every so often is important. Here, I bought some sandwiches. Let's share them. Wow, that sounds great. Thanks, Sandy. Oh, how sweet of her. Yeah, Sandy's great. Yeah, because Tita ass will not eat. Okay, he bought some seeds. <laughs> thank you. It's just a small thank you gift. Alright, 42 droplets. Uh, oh, my bad. Alright, so those droplets that you get give you a glimpse of what this is also new to the game. So, like, they are, it's kind of like uh, in Tales when you find like Sage and what uh, I'm trying to think of the other ones. Uh, I can't even think of the other names of them. <laughs> Sage and other, it's a, it, they give you permanent stat boosts. I can't even think of the other ones. I hadn't played it in a minute. I need to get back on that game. Um, but uh, the Vitality plus tip, uh, 10 to your HP. Uh, power droplets plus one to power and um, 42 for defense. Magic droplets, of course. But they're per they just permanently get your stats up. Personally, if it's not magic i would honestly save all the magic for emma but i would give every single one of those things to ring like you just want him in tip-top shape and like he he's gonna be the, your main character he's the person you depend on i gave every single one of them to ring and i didn't care about nobody else it because it just i don't know i didn't care <laughs> but restock up on everything get you some rest and Head back out. We we'll need to head south uh, for Parm. Just to let you know, the track is a little longer than St. Arts. But once we pass the bridge with the railway tracks along it, uh, I'll, it'll be right there. Speaking of, I wonder what happened with that derailed train. I presume there's been some progress after over an hour. It wouldn't be a bad idea to check and see how it's going. All right, let's go. All right, we are off the horse. Nothing but the same enemies here. There's a treasure chest over here that has you material. All right. And honestly, that, that, um, crap. Checking the thing. All right, so this section, same kind of stuff. I didn't even mean to do that. Get too close sometimes. Get back! Whew. Everyone okay? All right. So that's this little section right here. I'm trying to think where the treasure chests are on this part. Yeah, as you can see over there, there's a commotion down there. Whoa, it totally has been derailed. Oh yeah, Let's look ask at Major that. Michael about it since he's down there. Oh, nasty looking. There's Vivi. Whoa, Vivi, how did you get here so fast? I guess to ride with the engineer, but that old man. The old man there won't let me through. <laughs> I hear a scoop just calling my name too. Okay, settle down. The old man. He ain't say shit to us. Hey, that car. It's one of the railway military police police's uh, special operation vehicles. There's a derail, derail train. The maintenance train car is here as well. Damage seems minimal.
Ah, it's you. Yes, we were on our way to Parm, but we were worried, so we came to check on what happened. Could we get a briefing on the accident here? Very well, come down here. Today at 11.52 a.m., the train was derailed by this falling rock. Fortunately, the rock wasn't too big to begin with, and since it broke into smaller pieces upon landing, damage to the train was minimal. There are a few injuries, and all of them light. Treatment has already been complicated. I mean, I'm talking about complicated, completed, damn! <laughs> We've investigated the site thoroughly, but found no trace of anything such as explosives. Between that and the engineer's testimony, we can assume it was a landslide due to natural causes. Assume, so you're not certain then? Is there something you find suspicious about the accident? It's just a figure of speech. Because the rock broke into so many pieces, we are unable to determine the, the state of the scene before the accident. In any event, maintenance of the engine has been completed, so normal operation should resume shortly. <clears throat> I see. The timing still seems pretty suspicious, though. If the damage is only slight, it may have just been a coincidence. By the way, there weren't any unidentified metal pieces found nearby, were there? Hmm, I've already been informed. Archaisms, archaisms have been cited, right? Correct? Yes, and not just them. There have been a number of suspicious individuals cited recently, too. Do you think there was any chance an archaism was the cause of this? My subordinates found no traces of them in their search of the area. If there was a possibility... Well, I got the call. Michael speaking. Oh, it's you, Revelt. What? Instructor Claire? Yes, yeah, Schwarzer and the others have just arrived on the scene. Hmm, fine. Oh, video communication. Hello, everyone. So there really were archaisms in the area then? Yes, we found some. As they were not the latest models, it's hard to determine whether the society is involved or not at this point. We still need to investigate the other two locations they were sighted at. Well, now that you've confirmed their presence, please be careful. I've been informed of the derailment as well. Just as a precaution, I'm heading over. That will not be necessary, huh? The, the situation is under control. There's no need for you to remain here as well. We're receiving backup from the intelligence division. Return to Heimdall's plane. But, listen to me. You're not a part of the railway military police. You have, and you have direct orders from the chancellor to return. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not just part of the, I was like, what do you mean you're not a part of it? The Chancellor. That's. Understand. Please see to the rest, Major. Reen, Yuna, Altina, Kurt, please be careful. I'll be praying for the branch camp's success. I hope your missions go smoothly. Instructor Claire. Thank you. You be careful too. Ah. Uh, it seems she has more pressing mission. Indeed, one important enough to take precedence over everything going on here. Hmm, it's, safe. it's simply a matter of RMP priorities. Who the hell, where the hell they moved that damn rock? Major, all repairs are complete. Resume operation. I will now return to the field exercise grounds. Class 7 Special Operations, proceed to farm. Alright, so like they got everything back to normal. Jeez, what's with that hard ass? He was so rude to us. He was rude to instructor Claire. 
Well, I don't think it's rare for a military man like him to be so curt and direct. That said, his conversation with Major Claire seemed strange. He mentioned backup from the intelligence division. He didn't mean you, did he? No, not in this instance. Judging from the situation here, it seems many things are in motion. Yeah, seems so. Well now, let's head to Parm. We still need to investigate those two remaining locations. You got it. Let's go. All right, I'm going to end here. When we come back, we will be heading to Parm. <laughs> That's exactly uh, where everything is supposed to end up being anyway. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can switch this up. So you can, um, now they got it where you can switch and have certain people ride with certain people and all that. But I, I, it doesn't really matter. Like you can put Kurt in the front seat. Like it's, it's whatever. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it, I think it's cool if you, you know, just for co the cosmetic purpose of seeing you with your the chick you choose later on in the game, whatever like that. But it's, it's, it's all good. But when we come back, we'll be heading to Parm and on with the rest of the story. Uh, thank you guys for rocking with me. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe if you did the content. Like it really helps the video, guys. Helps fight that beast of an algorithm. But thank you guys as always. I will see you in the next one. Peace.